Josh, what point did you um, recognize that the run pass balance might shift this year? You've done it a little bit differently uh, with your run game this season. Was this something you saw in the preseason, or was this something just kind of evolved? No, I mean, uh, the run game is kind of where everything is always starting for us. Um, you know, I, I think each week forms its own identity a little bit based off of uh, who you are and, and your personnel and what you get, you're seeing on the other side of the football, too. And, um, obviously, uh, the run game, for the most part of the season, has been uh, efficient and effective. For Caleb Perry and Jeremiah, how important do you think it'll be later in their career that they're getting this opportunity to play such a big role early? Um, well, uh, every experience you get uh, in practice and, and uh, during the course of a ball game uh, throughout the season makes you, um, you know, what you're going to become. Um, you know, those guys are going to play well in this one. Uh, they've had a good week of preparation. Um, they've grown throughout the course of the season. They, they need to, to step up and play well. Other questions? <clears throat> yeah, Coach, I mean, you, you obviously you played the game, won a national title. You probably heard a lot of trash talk during games. Keelai Drinkwitz drops this comment on you, stand on the business. Well, what's that about? And, and at the time, you just brushed something like that off. How do you respond to that? Man, I, I really didn't hear it um, while we were – out there at the, the handshake, and man, we moved well on to the game that we got this week. So, anything else, Coach Patrick? Coach, you guys didn't have a lot of numbers of receivers going into the season now, not for not the last couple of games. You got Squirrel and Ramel and two redshirt freshmen. There were some options beyond those guys that might need to be stepped up, that might have to step up if you guys have Yeah, I mean, we got other guys that have been with us and, and practicing, and um. You know, if need be, those guys are going to have to go out and, and play extremely well. So, um, you know, hopefully we're able to stay healthy in this one as well. How, how has Nathan Lee Cox done? He's only, he's only played one game. How, how has he kind of progressed during the rest of the season? Yeah, uh, you know, he got banged up in the early part of the season and, and uh, missed some opportunity for, for growth. And I'm just talking about reps on, on the practice field, too. Uh, so, since he's gotten back in the mid part, he's done a good job. Austin. What do you think about on ball calls outside of how that star position kind of makes a lot of the calls and gets everybody lined up? But with Jordan, with Jordan Thomas being such a young guy, um, how much one, how much can he improve? Maybe from going from game one to game two in terms of that type of thing. Because I know it's different practice to the game, actual game. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, T Max had a good week of practice first of all, um, but JT did some really good things in the ball game uh, last week. Um, the communication piece from all 11 at the end of the day is really important. That guy's involved in, in a lot of it because he's close to the football um, as well. Um, you know, Jordan, every experience is gonna continue to make him better. He's had a good week of, of practice um, as he's had, you know, throughout the course of the season. Other questions? Anything else? All right, thanks all right. everybody. Thank you. Have a great